but who is also going to play a very pivotal role in this big match to a new Zimbabwe. We are so excited that the new Zimbabwe is loading. There's no way Zimbabwe is going to remain the way it is. Change is in the air. The change season is upon us. This is the time. Victory is certain. Victory is obvious. And of course, it's all victory around. We have managed to file our papers. We have concerns around certain of the issues, particularly the issue of the water stroke. But it's an issue that we hope is going to be resolved. Once the countries have been nominated, the next hurdle is the issue of the voter stroke and the issue of making sure that all those who registered and participated in 2018 or post-2018 as registered voters, their names have to be reflected. The information we have so far is that most of the names are missing and we want to understand why, and that issue has to be rectified. But we are otherwise so far so good. We understand that the candidates are still registering. I'm not so sure if Mr. Mnangagwa has come. He's a courageous man. I don't know why he's willing to even have the courage to stand in this election, because he has no reason to be in the election. Decent must teach him that he must just hand over to the next government. Are you happy with the conditions so far of the election period? Well, conditions, we still have problems, particularly in the countryside, uh, around command politics, command voting. Uh, the abuse of our traditional leaders is a big issue. And of course, uh, terrorizing um, individuals, supporters, and those of our members who are in the countryside doing uh, a lot of our campaign work. So yes, we have challenges. We also have job scholar our own member of parliament, who is incarcerated, um, and other political leaders who are behind bars. That tells you that the environment itself is something that is a cause for concern. But look, the greater the challenges, the greater our dimension of courage, boldness, and fortitude to make sure that we win. And indeed, we win this election in particular. And what what we want is a big win. Nothing short of a big win. And what will you offer the electorate? What are you saying to the electorate? Well, the electorate is waiting for dignity, restoration of decency for everyone. I am a leader. I am a president for everyone. And I'm saying to Zimbabweans, you have been marginalized. You have been left behind. But he is a leader who is coming for you. Jobs for everyone. Dignity for everyone. Prosperity for everyone. And of course, happiness for everyone. How is the process of far as far as that the constituents are concerned? Well, we have received reports. It started slow. We had problems administratively. Zek were telling us the challenges with uh, some of our signatories because they had not received from their headquarters. But we hope that it will be resolved. Of course, we had our uh, team yesterday. They, their car impounded and our papers uh, almost withheld. But we have sorted that one out. So we are going to assess the situation and give a comprehensive report after the end have, of the day. Have you experienced any issues with double candidates? Well, we don't have any double candidate except for certain individuals in Mashingo who stole some papers yesterday and forged signatures. So it's not a case of double candidates, but fraud and uh, some fraud, fraudulent activities. So it's a criminal thing that has been reported to the police. Uh, we don't foresee any uh, problem of double candidates because we only have two signatures and they cannot have double candidates. Uh, so that, that, that is not a problem that we are anticipating. We have filled um, and filed uh, all the vacancies uh, in the constituencies and hopefully all the rural district councils, uh, assuming that um, uh, we receive reports from the countryside. We have also even filled um, the pro proportional representation, but there was a problem administratively and legally because there was no statutory instrument that provided for that uh, process. So now that it has come, we have also filed. We are hoping that there's going to be an extension of time to accommodate it for the delay and for this missile. We see people like your vice president who is not on the candidates list. Where are you going to slot a person like Mr. Beat? We are a presidential republic. And our campaign is going to be basically a presidential. You know, we, our focus is not to be in parliament, but to be in government. Uh, we have been in Parliament for a long time. That's not our station of choice at the moment. Our station of choice is government. So you will see Mr. Beat in government. He's going to play a pivotal role in the campaign that we are going to be waging very soon. 
because he's part of that government and that is what we are offering to Zimbabwe. So yes, you will see that happening. I mean, parliament is going to be there. We already have people deployed there, but there are others who are beyond parliament. They are in government and they must play that role in government. So you will see a strong team, you will see a formidable team, you will see the future of Zimbabwe. And it is here, it is represented. You can see it around. The entrance of Sepia was supported by the race. How do you see it? Ah, it's not a factor. I just see one person. And that's our opposition. ZANU PF is now split into many factions. And for the first time, we are facing a factionalized ZANU PF, a split ZANU PF, a divided ZANU PF. Now, a divided opponent is a weak opponent. We are offering interest-free loans for the youth and the women who are going to start businesses. We are offering that the pensions be recalibrated because the current pensions do not help the people of Zimbabwe. We are offering complete subsidization of agricultural inputs so that our people can afford. That is our national agenda. How do you see your chances of winning elections? As good, as good, as good as any. Uh, there is no candidate right now who is superior to us. Uh, we compare favorably to most of these candidates, to all of them, I should, I should actually say. I do not believe that President Mnangagwa has any superiority over us. I don't believe that. And we have better ideas, we have new ideas, uh, we have better energy, we have better vision, and uh, I think we'll do better than the current president. So if you found under MTC or MTC, we have filed our papers, um, uh, you have to inspect them, uh, but uh, because the nomination is still going on, and as you know, it may turn out to be a legal issue. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, I cannot comment right now, but uh, we know that there were certain people who wanted to disturb our nomination, uh, they have uh, failed, there were certain uh, political parties that sent people to embarrass us by a lawsuit that we were engaged in the whole part of the morning, uh, where they were saying that we are disturbing their nomination. Uh, and the uh, judge, uh, Justice Chinamora, threw out that application. So, Mr. Mwanzura, is not history going to repeat itself, considering that uh, last year all your, um, your, your MPs lost during the by-election? Why are you saying that? Is history not going to repeat itself? As, as happened in 2008. In 2008, we defeated ZANU PF. In 2008, we controlled parliament. It, that's part of history. That is the capability of report, repeating itself. When they say history repeats itself, they never said recent history repeats itself. They said history repeats itself. And it is a historical fact that the MDC is the only party that has ever defeated Zanubia. And that history may repeat itself. Who would we be talking to and what we're doing that Oh, well, um, I came here for something else, uh, different from nomination. Uh, as you know, in the morning, uh, we were in court. We were sued by one uh, uh, or two political parties who were accusing us of interfering with their nomination process. Uh, the matter has been thrown out by the judge, Justice Chinamora. Uh, but also uh, my team has just completed uh, the nomination uh, uh, processes. Uh, I was one of the first. In fact, I was the first uh, candidate to file their papers. Um, and what was left was the calculation uh, of, the, of the payments that have to be done. Uh, as you know, it's the 20,000. Uh, and then they want it to be swiped and then they make certain calculations. Uh, the team has uh, dealt with that. Uh, so yes, um, I am a candidate. Can we have your general comment concerning the electoral space and uh, how come It is bad, so it is bad. First of all, uh, the nomination fees are prohibitive. Uh, and this is uh, transforming the election system into a class issue. Uh, those who, are, who do not have means will not be candidates even if they are capable. That is wrong and that will be the first thing that will go under our jurisdiction. Uh, then this, the second thing uh, uh, relates to the issue of the MPs. Uh, right now most MPs are finding difficult to raise nomination fees because most of them are, are, are unemployed and that is a big amount, $1,000. I think the highest in the world. Uh, the the re reason why the Munangagwa regime did that 
was to try to discourage people from fielding candidates because they fear that we will dominate parliament, because they fear that they are unpopular with the people. Now we have bad news for them. We are going to contest this election as a full member, as, as an equal member uh, of the Zimbabwe uh, body politics. So the, it is very, very unfair. Secondly, uh, the, the, the ZANU-PF is monopolizing ZBC, um, and uh, both radio and television. Uh, and other political parties are not being given enough space, equal space. That is wrong. So others have been of the view that if you want to be uh, a whole leader of a country, $20,000 is not much. What's your take on that? Well, uh, $20,000 is a lot of money and it is unnecessary. That's the most important thing. Uh, if we were to ask them what they use the $20,000 for, um, to print presidential ballot papers, you do not require that amount. And at any rate, uh, uh, this is an, a national issue and a candidate must not be responsible for the printing of the ballot paper. So what do they want the 20,000 for? They are fundraising. This is a criminal enterprise. And uh, why am I paying more than Obama? Why are we paying more than uh, George Bush, Tony Blair and other leaders? Why are we paying more than Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa? So this is wrong. And it was meant to, uh, 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 to discourage other people from participating. Uh, it doesn't necessarily follow that if you um, are rich, you also have uh, the capability to lead. There are people who are not people of means, but are good leaders. They are being crowded out of this process. And that's why we say this has been reduced into a class issue and it is wrong. Uh, you mentioned that um, members of parliament, aspiring members of parliament are struggling to raise uh, the 1,000 required nomination fees. What's your, part, your party's uh, criteria as far as um, them filing their papers? Are you by any chance funding them or they have to uh, do the fundraising? We can't own? fund all of them, uh, unfortunately. We can't fund all of them and I'm not so sure uh, how much funding has been found by our treasury. Um, and that becomes very, very difficult for a political party. Uh, it is forced to segregate um, uh, against some members of parliament, and that is very, very unfair. So uh, we are not sure uh, how many of our members of parliament will be able uh, to afford the nomination fees if the party does pay for them. But uh, the party is being asked to fork out a quarter of a million. Uh, for nomination fees, uh, uh, if you add the uh, the 210,000, uh, then I think for the uh, the women, the 60 women, that's about 12,000, and the proportional representation Senate, that's another 12,000. That's and the youth and so on. That's a lot of money uh, that is being put into ZEC, and uh, there is no purpose for that money. Okay, so what criteria are you going to use for the members that you're going to pay for? We have an election directorate, um, an election directorate, and also that's an internal matter. The election directorate is looking into that. Uh, but uh, we wouldn't really want uh, to segregate against our members of parliament. Uh, one of the uh, uh, means that we had thought was to pay a minimum amount for each and then ask them to top up and we found that problematic because even the top up some members of parliament can't afford. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.